hope that you guys are having a great week a uh, good start to the month i can't believe we're in march already but so um just gonna be opening up some packages right quick um i do know what they are i just one of these packages is so cute and i just want to show y'all um but i also just want to had want hmm, wanted to have um i guess you could could consider it a candid conversation whatever the case may be i just want to have a real raw conversation so um to be fair i only have a few followers shout out to y'all love y'all thank you um but i feel like most of the people like know me know me but anyone who does watch these videos they know I'm having a hard time turning 30. The other day I was talking to my mom about it and I'm going into my 30th year of life. It made me emotional. The point is, I feel like I'm running out of time. And maybe I'm not the only one feeling like this. I know we've all been seeing all of the signs that we are in the end days we're all seeing that but and not to say that it's making me nervous it's just like when people make a bucket list you think of oh if i only had such and such amount of time left to live like i want to do all of these things it's that kind of thought process so there's a lot that i still want to do and I, I know that I'm not living life for me. I know that I'm living life for God, but there's still so many things that I wanna accomplish, still so many things that I wanna experience for one. I want to go to Italy so, so, so bad. I don't know if it's common for to go to Italy, like as a vacation like i don't hear about it that often but my dream is to go to italy for two weeks and maybe that's barbaric maybe that's reaching but that's what i want i got like the hat that i want going to italy like i'm ready i want to go because i want to see all the different beauties of the world that god created you know so i want to travel um but I said all that to say, there's a lot of things that I still feel like I haven't accomplished. I mean, yes, I'm grateful that God has brought me out of these different situations. I'm grateful that God has kept me, that he's guided me through it all. I just personally feel like I haven't done anything. I just want a big table with a whole bunch of gifts for me. Let me be selfish for once. Cause it's my 30th birthday. So, big news. I, wait, where, oh. I am doing a photo shoot for my 30th. I'm so excited about that. I've never done a photo shoot ever in my life. And here I am about to do a photo shoot. I got like so much inspiration on my Pinterest board. It's crazy. I had to send it to her, but I'm still trying to like curate like the vibe I'm going for. But it's kind of hard because I don't see everything that I want on Pinterest. So I'm trying to figure that out. So I got this for the bathroom. The last time y'all saw me film the bathroom, I was putting up the peel and stick brick like wallpaper, whatever. Yeah, I guess I take really hot showers and it done lifted so i bought this because i want to redo it because okay let me preface the tape that i put down it's not lifted excuse me so it's still stuck down it might have like crinkled i guess in certain areas but it's still stuck down hasn't like curled lifted nothing so what I'm thinking is because that's still stuck and good, I want to use this since it's like, it's gorilla. You can't go wrong with this. 
but it's strong enough. Hopefully, it'll keep them down even with the heat because it's indoor outdoor. So it should be able to withstand the steam and the heat, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna show y'all how it looks. At some point, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. You gonna see when I when I do this part. But anyway, yeah, so I'm super excited about that. I, like I'm excited, but I'm also nervous because I've never done a photo shoot before. Um, hold on. never done a photo shoot before so I don't know how it's gonna go I'm self-conscious and anxious and I know the Bible says be anxious for nothing let tomorrow worry about itself I'm still working on the not being anxious part um, but yeah so we're gonna see how that goes I don't know where it's gonna be yet my cousin said to send her um, like my inspo and like the ideas that I have and then I guess we'll go from there I may be having um like there's this girl I know I sent that to her she knows about it she's um she does like a, a posing class I think she said so not expensive at all either um so big ups to her I'm gonna be helping her business but um she's gonna come up there I guess to help me number one feel more confident and also get some good poses in because like I want to see how this turns out like I'm I'm so excited I can't even say I'm low-key excited I'm very excited because like <laughs> America's Next Top Model, who? What? I'm not that good, but <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see like what the end result is gonna be. Being <clears throat> that the family reunion is in July. Hold on, why is it like that? Being that the reunion is in July, I gotta like legit figure out what kind of props I want. Oh, I forgot about those. That. Um, being that it's in July, I really gotta figure out what kind of props I want. And, um, like figure out the vibe 100%. So when I get there, like I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm working with. And no, I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm thinking, but I will make a video about it, <laughs> clearly. So, you guys are going to see it, but I got these, so, what is it, 24? Yeah, it's 24 of these in here. These are like the little rubber things that you put on the keys. I got it so that I know which key is which for coming into my apartment because they look exactly the same but I can never tell which key is which. And I figure since there's 24 of them, I'm just gonna bring them to work with me. Um, I colored the keys with the permanent marker, but then I had to cover it with tape because I guess the oils in my finger was rubbing it off. So I figured if I bring these with me, it'll make it even easier. And then everybody knows which key is which. So. And plus, they got red and black, and I already made the keys red and black at work, so that helps out. But yeah, so this is going to be helpful. I'm going to have, like, a whole bunch more that I don't need, but hey, I guess. Yep. And then this one. I don't know if y'all can see it through here. This is so cute. I saw something similar to it, but this was the one that wasn't, like, $50. This is so freaking cute. You just don't know. Oh, let me open this. I love this. 
I don't even have to explain where I'm gonna put it because I think it's self-explanatory. Hold on, hold on. Ready? Okay. Tell me this is not so cute. Bro. Just, I just, I, I have no words. I love this so much. It's so cute. I'm taking this with me everywhere. I absolutely love this. It's so cute. It, you can't, come on, come on. This is cute. I can't wait to put this up, but this is cute. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to put a nail on the door or if I want to do like the command strips because it's already got the little hanging thing back here. So I have to figure that one out. And I'm going to do, I don't know, I guess trial and error to try to figure it out, but I can't wait to put this up. It's so cute. So, so cute. And then I just brought these in here because I'm going to be working on, um, this is literally from Dollar Tree and it better work. I'm going to be mad if it don't. Yeah, it barely worked. Low key a waste of money, but y'all will see in a few minutes. But I just want to properly label my uh, spice jars. Mm -hmm. I had to take all the labels off because it's still got the label here and the price thing. I got these from Big Lots. I have an empty one so I can show you. But <clears throat> I have made, okay. So when Christmas tree shop was still a thing, I um I got like these little like mason jar type things and I was like these are so cute I could literally make like spice jars out of them and they were um because I could fit like every uh what's it called measuring spoon in there without <sighs> sorry without issue but they didn't have this the little sprinkle whatever i don't know what it's called but it didn't have these so i was gonna either try to order some on amazon or the tops got messed up anyway so when i was at big lots with my sister the other day and not the other day a couple months ago that was a couple months ago I had just gotten my nails done. We went over to Big Lots very quick. And when I was in there, I saw these spice jars. They were only, what, 99 cents? Yeah. Yeah, they were only 99 cents. And they have the little spice shaker thingy. Pops on, pops off. And it's black, so it's already, like, sleek. Goes with any style. Like, just, yeah. So, I need to put some labels on this. I'm trying to figure out for these, like, can I break this in half? Because this is not gonna fit, like, it's like that big. It's not gonna fit in this jar. It's not gonna fit in there. Can I cut them? And if I cut them, is it gonna ruin anything? I wouldn't think so, but I don't know. I got cinnamon sticks for my health. I'm trying to kick this diagnosis. But, hold on, let me get it on the lap first. Oh, it's cold, it's cold. Okay. I don't know if, oh, don't do that. I don't know if y'all can like see what it is, but. You gonna find out today. Or as Kevin Hart said. Pieces in here. Okay, 
So before I take oh, hold on. everything out, <clears throat> so I got a nightstand because that's not it. Um, this is literally, it's literally business storage stuff back here, which I still gotta figure that whole thing out. Excuse me while I go off on a tangent really quick. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put this together. I'm gonna work on cleaning that window over here and putting up that little window clean. I'm also gonna work on putting, what the heck is he doing up there? I'm gonna work on putting the labels on the spice jars and yeah.